In this video, I want to demonstrate how to create a polygon and cut it into a part for a hex or allen key as shown here. So first I'm going to control tab back to my other part. And I want the cut to start from this face. I'm going to select the face. And then from the features ribbon, I'm going to select extrude cut. And I'll look normal to the face. And then I'll click in white space to clear the blue from the face. So from the sketch ribbon, I'm going to select create a polygon. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to lock it to the origin and I'm going to move out and click to create it. Then in the polygon properties windows, I can make it for construction if I want. I can choose the number of sides. I just want a six sided polygon for now. And I can choose if I want an inscribed circle as shown here or a circumscribed circle as shown here. I would like the inscribed circle. Now, if you want, you can bother to set this up, but I wouldn't bother because once we fully define it, all this will be set up and this does not fully define my sketch. So I'm happy with the polygon. I'm going to exit the command and next I'm going to push escape and select this bottom line and make it horizontal. And then I'm going to use mouse gestures to activate smart dimension and I'm going to select my Inscribe circle, I'm going to move over and I'm going to click to place the dimension. And I would like its size to be 3 16 So I'm going to type 3 slash 16 and push enter on the keyboard. And then I'm going to push escape. Now, if I don't want the leader dimension for the diameter, I can right click on it. I can move down to display options and I can tell it to display as linear. And when I click in white space, we can see how that's changed. If I don't want that, again, I can right click on it. Come down to display options and set it back to just display as diameter. And remember, as we talked about earlier, we can also right click on it, come down to display options and display it as a radius. I, however, would like this displayed as diameter. So I'm going to right click on it one more time, come down to display options and tell it to display as diameter. And now the sketch is fully defined and I'd like to exit it. But before I do, I'm just going to rotate around a bit and recenter. When I exit the sketch, we'll be in the cut menu and I want to extrude cut to the bottom of this radius cut I've made. So that's up to the vertex. So I'll right click here and exit my sketch. And in the extrude cut properties, I will set the end condition to up the vertex. And I may need to zoom in a bit more on this. And I'm going to get near this circular edge and you notice how it goes orange. And then I'll slowly move along until I find the vertex. And there it is. Patience is a virtue. It's sometimes a little tricky to find, but now I have it. My mouse pointer shows me. If I click, I'll be selecting the vertex or the bottom of this arc. So I'm going to select it. And I'll right click to accept this. And now I've made a cut for a hex key into my part. 